Okay, so we're going to talk about online stuff, which means that Klee is probably going to take the lead because she is the queen of online, and I am not the queen. Robbie's tips for artists because he loves you. Hola, you amazing artists. So we got a question today that got me thinking about my online marketing and online stuff. So the question is from Kid Rockin' Forever. What's up, Kid Rockin' Forever? Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Question is, I'm trying to sell and show on Facebook and Instagram, but no one is buying Is it just like you said, do people really not buy art online? So people do buy art online. Uh, Online is a great market. It's a great opportunity to be able to sell art. It's one of the reasons that us artists could be self-employed now versus uh, needing a gallery or needing festivals and things like that to be set up for us to do our thing. Back in the day, if we wanted to be self-employed and set ourselves up, we would have to open up a brick and mortar location or at least get a reputation out there by doing a lot of those community shows and stuff. Whereas now we can actually sell our stuff online and broaden our market. Before it was just locally, now it's worldwide. I have collectors that are from all around the world. Yeah, we ship stuff internationally all the time thanks to our store that's built of ones and zeros. But here's the thing, e-commerce and social media are two different things. Yes. Yes, they are. One of the misconceptions that I had was that as soon as I get my online store up, that I'm going to be making a whole bunch of that. People are just going to be like rushing to my online store, you know, pushing other people to the side. Fact is that what I really experienced was crickets. I'm still picturing people physically rushing to your online store as though it existed somewhere. Yeah, yeah. They were they were rushing to their own computers, you know what I mean? Pushing each other out of the way. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> a, the struggle is real. As it turns out, no, nobody was like going nobody knew I existed because that's the problem. When you have your stuff online, nobody really knows that you exist because it's not like you pop up on the front page of everybody's computer. It just doesn't happen that way. And honestly, I'm not here to talk to you about algorithms and all that stuff. A lot of people try to follow a certain rhythm, uh, a certain rhythm, certain rhythm with algorithm. I don't concern myself with the algorithms or the SEOs or things like that. Obviously, I do want to make sure that my tags and my title and my descriptions all are cohesive so that things are searchable, but as far as worrying about like Google algorithms or Etsy algorithms or how the computer decides to, they change that so often that it just doesn't even matter. Recently, a bunch of stores on Etsy that had their shops optimized for the algorithm that was on Etsy uh, took a dive, a nosedive, because Etsy changed their algorithm. So like, and that's happened a bunch of times on Google and it's happened a bunch of times on every search engine because they just change the algorithm. I don't worry about that. I get a lot of questions about that because people think that I'm like some kind of marketing guru and I'm not, I'm not a marketing guru. I just like creating stuff and putting it out there in front of as many people as possible and connecting with a lot of people. It's more about the personal connection for me than it is the whole marketing my art thing. When it comes to social media, uh, it's all about putting my story out there so I don't really rate the success by how many items I sell on social media. It, it's it's rated mostly on what is the response rate that I get. You got to think about it this way. It's the same thing as setting up at a market. You may have 2,000 people visit your booth or walk by your booth at a market And that entire day, you may have two people buy something. So it's the same thing on social media. The more people that see your stuff, the more chances you have of somebody purchasing something. But in order to get to a place where you are showing it to a lot of people, you have to consistently do it in a market where maybe you don't have that much of a return. Find another reason that is personal to you for putting your stuff out there on social media, on Facebook, like you said, or on Instagram, that doesn't have anything to do with a return on sales because that way you're getting the satisfaction of putting it out there. I know that this isn't the case for everybody. I know people do sell things on Instagram and Facebook. In my personal experience, I had to find another reason to show my stuff because it is incredibly rare that I sell anything through social media. Yeah. 
I post to social media to document my progress as an artist and engage with people. And there are things you could do on Instagram to make it easy. There is a way to integrate your store so that there is a store button that takes them directly. I mean, these are all things that you could look into. Those are all things that we will eventually look into. But also, you got to remember, a lot of times people are just liking things. They, they see it online. They think it's beautiful. They wonder whether or not they're going to buy it. And it has to be super easy for them to get there. A lot of times we get upset because nobody is purchasing anything online. But in order for them to get to that place where they need to purchase something, it's almost like they have to like crawl through a minefield in order to get there. So with Instagram, a lot of the people that sell on Instagram, it's because they have it set up directly. And I think you could do that going through WooCommerce. There are different ways that you could do that. That's something that you would have to look into yourself. For me, since I don't have the shops linked, I use social media as a tool to remind people that I exist, but that's about it. And so a lot of marketing people will look at me and be like, oh, so you do the sell without trying to sell. No, I don't try to sell because if I am rating my success based on how much I'm selling online, what other markers of success do I have? And the markers of success that I have, it's not even how many people respond to my post, it is whether or not I posted something that I find amazing that day. Something where I can look back through my storyline and see authenticity and see awesomeness. Like, holy crap, I have a pretty amazing life. Don't get discouraged because people are not buying online. It's like any other market, except it is a very vast and larger market. I'm not saying that I've never sold anything through Facebook or Instagram. There are plenty of pieces that people have seen and they've bought. There are a lot of pieces that people have seen a year ago on Instagram or Facebook that have bought this year because they needed to save up for it. But I don't rely on my social media for marketing, as as you guys could probably tell from watching this video. I mean, where's the art, Rafi? Are you really an artist? Rafi, do you ever make any paintings? A lot of you out there are like, Rafi, we'd like to see more art in your videos since you're an artist. And like, all you get is my bearded talking head. And the end of my two cents with this is I do the same thing on my e-commerce platform as I do with social media, which is I try to be consistent. On my e-commerce store, I try to add at least one new thing per week. And honestly, my answer may not be the best answer out there because, I, as you know, I always push face-to-face -face marketing. Get out there, talk to people. That is the marketing that I rely on. When it comes to my social media or my online stuff, that for me is a way of connecting with people from around the world. With YouTube, I get to connect with artists from all around the world. That is amazing to me. And that's what I get stoked about. It's not about selling stuff to you. In fact, I market these videos to artists. So I'm, I'm just wanting to connect. And when you're dealing with social media, think of it in that way. You're just wanting to connect. Eventually, a side effect of that will be getting some sales from your online store. That is the best advice that I could give because that's what I do. I don't know if it is the best advice overall. I'm not I'm not a marketing guy. Hopefully that answered your question, Kid Rockin' Forever. Don't get discouraged. Just just keep putting stuff out there and find another reason why you're putting stuff out there. When you think about it, the simplicity of it is you're an artist, you create artwork, and you put it out there in as many places as possible. And th that's it. That's the simplicity of it. Whether it's online or whether it is face-to-face, -face, whether it is in a gallery or not in a gallery, whether it is doing your own show or a studio visit or in a portfolio, whatever it is, just get your stuff out there and have fun doing it. Don't, don't, don't get discouraged if you don't get sales. That's what happens to a lot of so-called starving artists is that they get out there and because things don't happen immediately, they get discouraged and then they give up. Don't allow that to happen. Don't get discouraged. Find a different reason why you're posting stuff to Instagram and Facebook. Post to Instagram and Facebook because you're like, I'm the most awesome. Look how awesome. I go back through my page and look at all that artwork. Look awesome. at how awesome, 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 awesome. awesome. Aw There's a bonus question. Are you ready? Okay, bonus question. Thanks for another great video, De YouTube's movie quote. Can you name it? <laughs> the two youths? Is you, that what you're... Two youths. Yeah, did I two, read that wrong? You did read that wrong. My cousin Vinny. Uh -huh. 
the two youths. <laughs> and if you guys have a question for us, just go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. And thank you so much for watching, you guys. You guys are absolutely freaking amazing. I totally adore you. And if you like this and you want to watch more like this, just click right over here to subscribe. And that's it. Say goodbye, Clee. Good day. Adios. <laughs> <laughs>